The average OSRS player plays for 2-3 hours a day on weekdays, then around 4 hours on weekends, so a total of 20 hours, 30 minutes around that every week. Of course some people play more, some people play less, but what if the average free-to-play player wanted to get a bond and not spend any money? So I decided to try up for myself on a brand new spanking level 3 free-to-play account, playing, playing around 2 hours uh, and a half a day then four hours on Saturday and Sundays can I get a bond playing the most casual way possible this is how to get a bond from scratch level 3 free to play fucking sick AF money bond time yes Royal Island is complete now, comes the fun part. I will start the time after this. I decided not to include the time I spent on Tutorial Island because I think most free to players will have it done already, right? So before I get to Varrock, I'm gonna quickly get 10 GP and head over to Alcarid. <laughs> There's a quick money making method I just learned on Alcarid just for some extra cash. You can collect beer glasses from the shelves which sell for a bit of GP and I mean it's free, it takes zero skill, so why not have a little bit of money to, to start off with. Then we'll get the stack from GP from the Stronghold of Security, that with the glasses should get us some GP to work with, and you know, buy some stuff if we need to. Slowly thinking this is, was a bad idea, just, I think this is gonna take a long ass time, time I do not have. Jesus Christ. As you can see, a full inventory of these is 2.7k, which we can probably sell instantly for like, maybe 2.3 so that's some starting GP like I said for tools and stuff somewhere around 50 K GP an hour if my math is right and I'm not good at math so it, it might be wrong I get those quick 10 K GP from stronghold of security you just have to really it's the law that's the first 2k there's another 3k and the other 5k to make it 10 and why not go all the way and get some boots so the glasses are probably gonna take a while to sell uh, and I've just realized that there are G restrictions for new players this this is fucking gonna suck so I'm not sure about this method but I think buying jugs from Django or Diango Diango in Draenor might be our best option for now I gotta think about the restrictions probably a lot of times it will be uh at times items will be out of the question uh, let's see if we buy these packs it's 140 gp each pack which has a hundred empty jugs in it we can then sell it for 300 gp so it's around double the profit right which is pretty good since it has literally zero requirements Let's sell these real quick. Next method I'm gonna show you guys is crafting. Uh, crafting jewelry, to be specific, which I hope will be a good money. I'm probably half brain dead, because I totally forgot I was in free to play and was hoping to craft some bracelets at level eight. But bracelets are members, so um, we, we gonna do some gold rings instead, which we could have made at like level five crafting, I'm pretty sure. Uh, bear, bear with me on this one guys. Now my goal is to get 20 crafting for sapphires, but even at gold, each bag of ring, rings is about 4k and an inventory of gold bars is 2.3k. So even at level 5 crafting, making 1.7k profit a bag and being able to AFK is not too shabby. You know, I'm hoping... Um, I'm hoping to get 20 crafting, like I said, because theoretically I can double my profits with, with Sapphire, so let's see. Alright, so we made like 230 rings around that, got ourselves 19 crafting, damn fucking levels boys. Uh, one more level to make it 20 and we'll finally see just how good of a money maker crafting can be in free to play. And that's 20 crafting boys. So each bag of gems in bars is like 6.3k, I just spit it all over the keyboard and after we make uh, these, what, why can I, do I not have the right mode? Let me make the rings, Jagex, what the f remember when I said I was half brain dead? I'm probably half brain dead? Scratch that, I might be full brain dead. Jesus Christ, I was trying to make rings with rings, my guy. So an inventory of bars and gems is 5.3k, a bag of the rings, uh, is 6.9k so 1.6k profit each bag and some good crafting xp considering we're in free to play i give it a thumbs up honestly next up is one really old ass method 
which is pack of eye newts uh eye newts pack of eye of newts uh these go for 300k coin 300 what the fuck am i saying diesel 300 coins these go for 300 coins and we can sell the 100 eye of newts that come in each pack for for 100 gb plus we can even buy you the wizard hats for some extra cash or for the drip you know you gotta get the drip you basically just hop worlds buy the packs and repeat considering it takes less than like 50 seconds to fill out an inventory we're looking at around 180 190 you can get like 200k 210k if you sell the eyes for ge price but it will probably take a little bit longer to sell so let's sell these bad boys ah they're restricted as well all right all right no use in having them now literally god damn it okay so this is similar to buying newts what the f why am i always seeing newts no restrictions i tested it out you come to remington you buy the thread from Romic. Uh, each thread costs 1 to 2 GP each, which is dirt cheap, and you can sell it for 8 to 9 GP, so it really is a no-brainer, even for me. Um, I really like this method, I guess if you can't be bothered in getting past the new account restrictions that Jax made, this method can easily substitute the Eye of Newt one. It's the same thing, buy, hop world, repeat, you got the gist. In conclusion, my boys, I spent 3 hours on this account, and... I can vouch for everyone when I say this, it's, it's just not worth the hassle, meaning making money in free-to-play. The top methods, if you decide to get a bond in free-to-play currently at the time of this video, uh, are these. Even, even, <laughs> that's fucking, even if they all were 200k GP, at the current cost of a bond, which is 5.3 mil, it would take you 26 hours and a half to get one single bond. Something that could be achievable in the period of your membership on those 14 days of a bond Almost just doing dailies and some slayer or any kind really any kind of money making on the side So my genuine advice is Pay five bucks for your first membership then renew it with GP because I guarantee you that making money in, in free play in <laughs> making money in members is two if not three times faster even with zero requirements even with zero skills and you'll probably be having a ton of fun along the way. Uh, be sure to like the video because it helps out a bunch and I'll see you boys next time.